Hi, this is Doug Richardson with CineGIF. I'd like to show you how to make a cinema graph using CineGIF. First thing you can do, you can start with a free trial, or if you already have an account, just log in using your email address and then your password, and you'll be ready to go. First thing I want to do is show you one that I did of a beer tap. And here we're just putting some beer into a glass, and I just made it circle over, and so it's a very fluid flowing video. If you look, the file size is only 184 kilobytes, and it's at a 600 pixel width, so it's a full-size video. Let's either we can either do a video clip, still images, or practice with a sample video. So let's do that. Let's start with a sample video. So here we have the sample video that was shot here at El Arroyo in Austin. Let's start with just trying to isolate the fire. I want to use a square tool and just isolate the fire. So the only thing it's going to show is the fire. I want to shorten it up a little bit to keep the file size nice and small. So let's edit because the, the fire is just going. And here's the round tool. Show you how to use this really quick. If we also want to show her drinking her coffee, we just use the round tool, circle her area. You can move it around. It's really easy to use. But let's just stay with the fire. So let's back out and just leave the square tool with the fire. So here we go, we can send it in. Usually takes a few minutes. And then we're gonna get it back. There it is, just the fire. Only the fire is showing. Now I wanna edit this. I wanna go back and I wanna show her hand moving. So let's use the zoom tool and zoom in to just her hand. And I wanna use the free hand tool. So there I'm gonna use the free hand tool and, and circle around just her hand moving. Freehand tool is a very simple one to use, and it's my favorite. So let's play it. Look at her hand. We might need to edit a bit because I want her hand to be a smooth motion all the way around. And it looks like it is right there. There we have just a, a very smooth motion. Now let's go ahead and back off and look at everything. So we have her hand, and we have just the fire. See, they're just playing. Those are going to be the only moving parts in the final. I want to make this the full size, so I want to make it a 600 pixel width, and then send this one in. This is going to be good, because it's just going to be the fire in her hand, and it was really easy. There it is. We just have the fire, just have her hand, and then if we look down here at the file size, it's only 254 kilobytes, and it's a 600 pixel width. If you notice, we also give you a URL. We're hosting it for you, and then you can also share it on Tumblr. Now I want to do some still images. So let's go out and go to the option and click on still images. I want to do a sequence. So here you go. I want to download all these that I shot at a farmer's market here in Austin, Texas. And there we download all the images and they it arranges it in sequential order. Let's go ahead and look at everything. And you can rearrange the images if you want to. So let's go ahead and move 12 over to 11. And if you notice, if you put the cursor over the image, it'll still tell you the original file name so you don't get confused as to what you replaced where. You can move them back to the original order. So let's go ahead and continue. And what this will do, this will take you to the same place we were with the original video. Shows all the images, sequential order, they're all playing. And I want to just isolate her. So I want to use the zoom tool. And then I want to use the freehand tool to circle her as the only moving object in the final video. So let's just circle with the freehand. Make little adjustments. Play. Yeah, there we have we have all of her or her moving area. So let's back off and look at the full screen. First, I want to change it to 600. Make the width 600. Let's go ahead and send it in. And when we get it back, there. She's the only moving part of the videos, and these are all with sequential images. And if you look down here, you notice the file size is only 260 kilobytes, and the URL that you can share it on Tumblr. Let's look at our gallery. This is going to show us what we've done. We have the one that we just did, the file size, the, the URL. You can share it with Tumblr. And then you can even go in and change the file, file name if you'd like to. So let me show you how to do that real quick. So let's go to the file name, 
just click on the little cursor there, the little pin, and change it to whatever you want. And there, there's a new file name. That's how easy it is to make a cinemagraph using Cinegif.